consider the earth to be a uniform sphere of radius capital R. Suppose we just draw some lines like this where this point is the center of the earth call that as A. This point represents the surface let's call that point D. Let there is an intermediate point A and B and there is infinity. Infinity. Let, let's call another point E. Now, if I say the gravitational potential energy at P, it simply means the work done to bring a mass, mass say M, from infinity to that point. So that, that's what you mean by gravitational potential energy. Suppose this length, let this length be the radius of the earth. That means OD is equal to radius of the earth. Let the distance from the center of the earth to the point P, let's call that as small letter R. And let's call the distance from the center of the earth to the point A, B, X. Suppose these two points A, B, A, A and B are very close to each other. Let's call that as small distance BX. Now we have, suppose M is the mass we are bringing from infinity to the point M, point P. So at the point, let, at the point A, we have the mass M now. So the force, force at the point A, point A, due to the earth, due to the earth, F is equal to, we have G M M by distance from center of earth to that A is X square. Clear. Where M is the mass of the earth, M means the mass of the earth, M we, we, we cons con the considered mass, this mass, mass at the point A and X is the distance from O to A. Now the work done, the work done DW to move the mass from A to B we have work is equal to force times displacement. Since the force and displacement are along the same direction, uh, we don't have, it's actually F dot dx. So see, this is equal to F dx cos zero. Since the force is from A to B, also the displacement is from A to B. So no need to write that. F, you simply write F dx. And F we found that g m m by x square into dx. So this is a small work done. Let's call that as equation number one. Now in order to get the total work, what you need to do is integrate from infinity to the point r because we are moving that the x varies from this x varies from infinity to the r. Since we consider, we, we have to find the gravitational potential energy at P. So the total work W is equal to, we have to integrate this one, integrate G M M by X square DX from the limit infinity to R. We are bringing it from infinity to the point R. So this will be, this G M and M is constant, G M M integral infinity to R, no, not smaller to R, R yes, smaller to R. Uh, this x square can be taken to the numerator x raised to minus 2 dx. This is equal to work is equal to G M M. You know the integral of x raised to minus 2 is x raised to minus 1 by minus 1. Now you have to put the limit infinity to R. Taking this minus to the outside the bracket, it will be minus 
g m m again x raised to minus 1 is 1 by x the limit infinity to r now the work done w is equal to minus g m m first you have to put the upper limit 1 by r minus 1 by infinity and we all know 1 by infinity is 0 therefore the final expression is the final expression is work done w is equal to minus g m m divided by r so this work is stored as the potential energy implies the potential energy at the point p is equal to minus g m m divided by r clear now what about the potential energy at the surface of the earth that means work done to bring a mass m from infinity to the surface of the earth it's, it is simply at the surface of the earth at the surface we have r is equal to radius of the earth therefore potential energy at the surface surface of the earth is equal to minus g m m divided by r Clear. Yeah.